everyone. Welcome to week two of Energy Vibration Law of Attraction and Meditation. Now get excited because we're going to talk about vibration. Now vibration, I could just geek out over vibration because I think it's so fascinating. I think vibration is something when I learned it, it just blew my mind. So last week we talked about energy and how energy, your energy can make you feel lower or higher or you know how are you feeling with your emotions right but all of that energy vibrates at a certain frequency so when i was starting to get ready for this video i thought well i'm going to be outside what is the vibration of the trees what is the vibration of the plants right so i googled it what's the vibration of the tree right and oh my gosh a big swarm of birds just came in oh and they're so cute um, so this is not verified, but they said the vibration of nature is at 432 hertz. And 432 hertz is like the pitch of a concert, right? So music, right? So we will talk about why 432 hertz is so wonderful when I show you the vibrational chart. So Dr. David Hawkins, not to be confused with Dr. Stephen Hawkins, um, studied vibration and frequency, and he came up with this lovely chart. I'm gonna come closer. I'm coming closer. I'm gonna hold it. You probably, so when you're looking at the vibrational chart, the bottom of the chart is shame, okay? So if you wake up in the morning and you are feeling shameful, you're gonna be like at a 20. You're gonna be at the bottom 20. That means you are not vibrating very high. You are very low. You are very low on the vibrational scale. And as you go up, maybe you wake up and you're sad, right? Because someone may have passed or you're, you're sad over a relationship or some sort of grief is happening with you. So now at grief, you're at 75. So at least you're higher than 20, right? You want to be sort of at 200. 200 is sort of where it goes from contracted vibration to ex expanded vibration and you want to be in expanded vibration right and so when you're in nature that vibration at 432 is between reason and love and you really want to be at that love vibration you want to be that everything is lovely and even if it's bad it's lovely right because you are at a point in your life where you can see good and bad things because they're teaching you lessons you are here on earth to learn lessons. This is not home. Heaven is home. This is our school. We are here. We come here to learn our lessons. And that's what we're doing, right? So we want to get up into that higher echelon of vibration, which is 200 is courage. 250 is neutrality. You're sort of just like, yeah, I'm here, I'm there, right? Then you're at willingness and accepting. You're accepting everything that's happening. You're Re you have a reason and know what's going on. You have love, you have joy, you have peace, you have enlightenment, right? You are at enlightenment. So I'm thinking enlightenment is like, you know, uh, the Dalai Lama, okay? He's probably at enlightenment. I'm probably never gonna get at enlightenment, but I can get, you know, I can get to love. I, I love people, I love myself, I take care of myself. So. Why do you want to be at this higher vibration? Why do you want to do that? Because vibration, and we're going to talk about law of attraction in the next video, higher vibration attracts other higher vibration things that are the same. So if you're at love, you're going to attract love. If you're all the way down at shame, you're going to attract more shame. You don't want to attract more shame. You don't want to do that because that's at a low vibration. You're going to attract, you're going to attract shame and guilt and all that really low vibration stuff, right? You want to attract love. You want to attract joy and peace to yourself, right? So you want to be living at that higher vibration. So you're probably thinking, hey, Steph, how do I get from a low vibration when I wake up in a really bad mood to something that's a higher vibration? Well, you can't just skip. You can't skip from here to here. It, it, it just doesn't work. You can't, you, you cannot do it that fast. You can go from shame to guilt. You can go from guilt. To, you have to kind of work your way up the vibrations. So how do I work my way up the vibrations? It's one thought at a time. 
So you're in your negative space. You're thinking negative thoughts. Just think of one good thought. Oh, I know that my parents love me. Oh, I know that my boyfriend loves me. I know that my girlfriend loves me. I, it is beautiful outside, right? Oh, I'm gonna go for a hike today. That's fabulous. And you, the more you start thinking of these great, wonderful, happy thoughts, because you're thinking happy thoughts, more happy thoughts will come. They will just come to you and you will keep thinking more and more. And then sometimes you'll slip back into the negative and then you gotta pull yourself out into the positive. It's a constant battle all day long because just like in the energy video, you're gonna do this all day long. Your emotions are gonna go So you have to just try, if you can, to stay in those upper vibrations. And then next week we'll talk about law of attraction and why you wanna stay in those upper vibrations. Super fun. Now remember, I have this wonderful meditation coming up and I'll talk to you also about meditation and how that works with vibration in the fourth video. Um, wonderful by, um, meditation, guided meditation by me. We're going to be doing it on the full moon, which is August 22nd. It's the sturgeon moon. Watch out for that, it's a little fishy, a little fishy. Um, sturgeon, sturgeon moon, $25, sign up. We'll do a whole guided meditation. We're gonna work on forgiveness, which is um, part of getting out of those lower vibrations and getting up into that higher vibration. And it's gonna be a lot of fun because I'm doing it, so get excited. Anyway, I will see you guys next week. Have a wonderful week.